Lie on your back, placing your fingertips on your navel. Close your eyes. And notice how the lower abdomen effortlessly rises and falls with the natural rhythm of your breath. Just slightly expanding on the breath in, releasing on the breath out. This sequence of poses focuses on strength and balance. To create the stability and support we need for the lower back, we need to organize the deep muscles in the belly. First, let your breath make a quiet whisper sound low in the throat. Steady whisper as you exhale. Steady whisper as you breathe in. Notice the pause that follows each exhalation. Begin to intensify your out-breaths, feeling how the stronger breath naturally pulls the navel and lower abdomen toward the spine. A couple of cycles of breath, using a strong out-breath to engage the belly, drawing the navel and lower belly toward the spine. Now here's the challenge. As you breathe in, keep the navel and lower abdomen engaged. You'll breathe higher up in your chest. Each breath out engages the lower abdomen. The pause, a suspension after exhaling, concentrates that support. Each inhalation maintains the action. You may begin to feel a bit of heat build in your belly. Now return to normal breathing. Roll to your side and come up to sit. Sitting on your mat, put your feet on the floor with your knees bent. For half boat pose, the seated balance and abdominal strengthener, you may prefer to sit on a blanket. I do this for a little bit of extra padding under my lower back. Begin half boat pose with core strength breathing again. Strong exhale pulls the navel and lower abdomen toward the spine. Deeper action during the pause after exhale. And maintain the action while breathing in. Continue this type of breathing throughout the pose. Lightly hold your knees. As your next breath out draws your lower abdomen in, roll back onto your sacrum. Shoulders level with your knees and your elbows straight. Stabilize that action during the pause after your breath out. Maintain the action when breathing in. Feel your lower abdominal muscles engaged. Hold for two more breaths. Exhale, navel to spine. Pause, feeling the action strengthen. Inhale, maintain. As you exhale, try to press one more inch of your sacrum to the floor, keeping your shoulders fixed. Breathe in. Breathing out, curl up to sit. Rest on your legs for a moment. Relaxed breathing. Feel the heat in your belly. Now variation two, a little more challenging than the first. Repeat variation one if your lower back is weak. Again, gently hold your knees and resume core strength breathing. The breath will make a whisper sound in the throat. On your next breath out, roll onto your sacrum. 
Shoulders level with your knee, arms straight. Stabilize your core abdominal muscles during the pause after exhaling. Maintain on the breath in. Keeping your shoulders fixed, breathe out. Trying to roll a little bit more of your sacrum to the floor. With your next out breath, raise your feet an inch off the mat and stretch your arms forward. Keep your lower back stable, pressing your sacrum to the floor. Core strength breathing continues. Soft face. Exhale, sitting up, feet to floor, and rest forward on your legs. Return to relaxed breathing. The third variation is the full expression of half boat pose and more challenging still. The essential action of half boat pose is the building of core strength and balance. If your lower back or abdominal muscles are weak, you will gradually build strength by practicing variations one or two. It's quality more than quantity that we're seeking in yoga. Lightly hold your knees and resume core strength breathing. Exhale, rolling onto your sacrum until your shoulders are level with your knees and your arms straight. Hold this position, pressing your sacrum down. On your next breath out, lift your feet. Are you a little unsteady? Use your exhale and the pause that follows it to organize your deep belly muscles and concentrate their energy. With your shoulders fixed, exhale and slowly straighten your knees, stretching your arms forward. Quiet face, press your sacrum down. Breathe. Then exhaling, bend your knees and hold them, feet to the floor. Rest against your legs and relax. Full boat pose is different from half boat in that the spine is straight and the angle between the legs and torso is more acute. Hold the backs of your knees and begin core strength breathing. Lift and lengthen your spine from the pelvic floor to the skull. Lean back just enough that you can pick your feet up and make your feet active. With an exhalation, lift from the pelvic floor and bring your chest towards your knees and your knees towards your chest. Keeping the knees and chest close, breathe out and raise your feet to knee level. Core strength breathing organizes your deep abdominal energy. Keeping your chest and knees close, breathe out and stretch your arms forward. Steady breathing. Each out breath engages the lower belly. The pause stabilizes it. The inhalation maintains it. Quiet face. Breathing out, release, hold your knees, feet on the floor, lean forward and rest. Return to relaxed breathing. Let's repeat, full boat pose. Taking it further this time. Hold behind your knees and begin core strength breathing. With a strong lift up the spine, lean back just enough to lift your feet. Exhaling chest to knees and knees to chest. Breathe in, raising your feet to knee level. Hold. 
core strength breathing. Now, keeping your knees and chest close, straighten your knees as much as you can. And stretch your arms forward. The breath out draws the navel and lower abdomen in. The pause stabilizes that movement. Inhalation maintains. Bend your knees, feet on the floor, Rest on your legs and relax. Now lying on your mat, face down. For side balance pose, stretch your right arm forward and roll onto your right side. Support yourself by putting your left hand on the floor in front of your chest. Bend your right arm and rest your head in your hand. Look down the length of your body and line it up so your right elbow to your ankle, you're in one straight line. You can use the front end of your mat to help position this. Relax the right side of your neck. Stretch from your right ribs to your elbow to elongate your shoulder. Now bring your head in line with the shoulder. Begin core strength breathing, allowing the exhalation to draw the lower belly gently toward the spine, creating internal support for your lower back. The pause after exhaling stabilizes that movement. The inhalation maintains. Press your outer little toe into the floor and lengthen your tailbone toward your toes and your front hip bones toward your heels. When you feel steady, bring your left arm alongside your body. If you roll back onto your buttock, Put your hand back on the floor and lengthen the tailbone to the toes more intensely. Gradually, you'll build strength and balance enough to practice this pose without rolling back. Slowly begin to rotate your head to the left, sliding your hand behind your head. And gently drop your left shoulder back. Close your eyes and soften your heart. Reopening your eyes, roll to your left side. Stretch your left arm forward, bend your elbow and rest your head on your hand. Place your right hand on the floor in front of your chest. And again, scan your body, making one straight line from elbow to ankle and press your outer little toe down. Now float your head over your shoulder. Relax the left side of your neck. This pose can be quite a stretch for the shoulder. If it's too much for your shoulder or wrist, you can simply rest your head on your arm. Begin core strength breathing. Tailbone lengthens towards the toes. Front hip bones towards your heels. Which action is more difficult for you? Try to find balance. When you're ready, bring the right arm alongside the body without rolling back onto the buttock. Balancing on the side of the leg keeps you supporting your pose with deep abdominal muscles.
Breathing out, slowly turn your head to the right, sliding your hand behind your head and relaxing your right shoulder back. Close your eyes. Steady breathing, lengthening the tailbone toward the toes. Gently roll face down on your mat, resting your head on your hands. Pausing for a moment to savor the mental quietness. Place your hands under your shoulders and push up to hands and knees to table pose. Move your hands slightly forward of your shoulders. Lift your head and open your chest, broadening your collarbones. You may notice when you're on hands and knees how the lower back tends to hang. Begin core strength breathing to create the support your lower back needs to be stable. This action will also flatten your back. Now turn your toes under. Pressing down through the backs of your arms, lift your front shoulders. And without raising your hips higher, breathe out and slowly lift and straighten your knees to plank pose. If your hips are too high, wiggle your feet back just a little bit. Each breath out draws the belly in. The pause stabilizes the action. The breath in maintains it. Keep your head lifted. Stretch down through the back of your arms. Lift your front shoulders. Expansive heart. Breathing in, come to your knees. Exhale to child pose. Relax your breathing. Come to hands and knees again to prepare for side plank pose. Move your hands slightly forward of your shoulders and turn your toes under. Lifting your front shoulders, stretch down through your side ribs and the backs of the arms. And lift your head. Begin core strength breathing. Feeling the exhalation draw the navel toward the spine. Without lifting your hips, straighten your knees to plank pose. Adjust the distance between your feet if necessary. Now shift your weight to your right hand and roll to the outside of your right foot. Keep your left foot where it is. Place your left hand on your hip. Now press the inside of your right foot and big toe joint toward the floor. Imagine you're pressing it against a baseboard. Maintain steady core strength breathing. Press strongly down through your right arm and lift your chest stretching your left arm up. Gaze forward. Each breath out draws the navel to the spine and your tailbone lengthens towards your toes. Come back to plank pose gracefully. Turn to the outer edge of your left foot, keeping your right foot where it is. Press strongly down with the inside of your left foot and big toe joint and bring your right hand to your hip. Core strength breathing. Press strongly down with your left arm, expand and lift your chest, pulling your right shoulder back. Extend your right arm up and gaze forward. Strong exhalations, organizing support in the belly. A strong, steady, balanced pose. 
Breathe in, release. Exhale smoothly to plank pose. Come to hands and knees and push back to rest in child pose. Relax your breathing. 